In this video, we're going to show you how to install the window regulator with motor on your Jeep Grand Cherokee located inside your driver's side front door. Remove our door panel. There are three Phillips head screws. There's one inside the door handle pull. There's one up where there should be a little plastic cap right here. There's one in here. And then there's one behind the door handle right here. Let's go ahead and remove those. I want to pull the door panel off here. Pop off the little plastic buttons. I'm going to pull that door panel off. Now on the back side, we have some metal actuator rods here that go to the door handle. I want to go ahead and separate those rods from those clips. Now you can normally just use your finger to pop these off. Here we go. There's one. Pull that rod up and out, and then we'll do the bottom one. Lift that up and out. Sometimes the angle of the rod will kind of bind up in there. Once you have those rods disconnected, the next things we want to do is disconnect the harness. Now when disconnecting the harness, on the harness facing the door panel, if I flip this over, there's a little spring clip right here. You're going to pinch that with your finger and then pull that off. Towards the back section here, we have another connector. I'm going to lift up on this little tab right here and then pull this off. And you follow this up, we have our mirror connector right here. There's a tab on the top right here. And support that door panel with your leg. I'm gonna pinch that. Separate that connector. We have one more connector right here. It's a little tab on the top right there you want to press down on to separate. And our door panel is now free from the door shell. Now in your particular vehicle, when you remove the door panel, you're probably going to have a water shield, which looks like a big sheet of plastic all the way around here. And it's held on by an adhesive that goes around the perimeter. Well, our particular water shield has been removed prior to us getting into the door here. What you want to do is go ahead and start to peel this off. The adhesive itself can normally be cut with a razor blade as you go around the perimeter if you cannot pull it off completely without tearing it. If you have your water shield, go ahead and remove that completely, set that aside. We have our ignition key in the on position. We have our door panel connected to our power window switch. We wanna go ahead and lower our window regulator or our glass down. Now right here, is our base of our window regulator. There is a metal clip right here. We're gonna use a flathead screwdriver and we're gonna go in behind this clip and gently twist this and pop it out. This is the clip that we're removing. Now there is another one of these clips to the left of this here, it's further over. So what we're now going to do is raise up our glass. And we're going to get to the other clip through the port over here in this side of the door. And you can raise and position this wherever you feel comfortable to get a tool in there. I'm going to use a pick and I can go in on this side here and pull that one out. And this is that clip right here. I'm going to set that aside. 
Now as we reach on the inside, right where those clips were, we can separate the window regulator from the glass. Now behind this panel here, there's a white bracket that is uh, part of the window regulator, and this raises and lowers the glass. Now where those clips came off on both sides, there are two pins coming through the back side, coming out to you. You're gonna reach in on the back side and you're going to pull the regulator bracket, that white bracket, back off of the glass, and we're gonna push our glass up, supporting our glass up onto the door itself. So our glass is now separated. We can raise this up. Now it's always good to have a second set of hands to do this. In our case, our glass is staying in position. We're going to now disconnect our electrical connector to the window regulator. Separate that, put our door panel aside again. We want to lift up our glass and support that so we can remove the regulator from the door. You can use tape for this. We have our suction cups. With the glass supported, let's go ahead and work on that regulator. Loosen the eight millimeter screws. And then we want to loosen the 10 millimeter screws. Disconnect the electrical connector. I'm going to reach inside. I'm going to disconnect our regulator and components. Here's the regulator with the motor. This here is the white bracket. Here are the two holes where the studs went through and we removed the metal clips from. So this is that component that you were just kind of twisting a little bit to pop off of the two studs. Now before we go to install this here, let's go ahead and remove the screws. I'm gonna swap these over. Before we install this, let's remove the retaining clips here. Let's go ahead and feed our regulator up into the door. Now the upper portion here we can line this up. Get that bolt to come through on the top, slide that over. We also have to line up the window motor. Get those bolts to come through. Drop that down. And then we want to get that lower portion installed here. So this is where we're going to grab that regulator and adjust this accordingly. Now installing the regulator, I'm going to get the lower bolt 
lined up over here. Get the upper one lined up here. And let's install the studs for the power window motor. Push those through and drop those down into position. At this point here, everything should line up where we can just go ahead and start to install the two other bolts. Let's go ahead and tighten down all of our hardware. And you can remove your tape or your suction cups, whatever you decided to use to support that glass. And we want to slowly lower this down. And we're going to bring our glass down inside. And what we want to do is push the pins into the bracket on our regulator. Now we're going to go ahead and push our glass down. We want to get this to line up with our pins here. Once we have that in place, go ahead and take your metal clip, feed that through. And that'll snap into place. We're going to do the same for the other side. So we got one of the clips installed here. We're going to hook up our door panel again, raise up our regulator so we can gain access to that other clip. Feed your power window connector through. Go ahead and connect that. Let's go ahead and connect all of our connectors here. Go ahead and raise it up so we can get behind and get that clip installed. All right, we have both of those clips installed. Install our lower rod. Sometimes the angle of the door panel, if you adjust the door a little bit, the rod will pop right into place. And then fold your clasp on over. And then pop the clasp back onto that one. Now at this point, we're gonna hang our door panel on the top of the door. Go ahead and line that up. And once that's in place, we can work our way around the perimeter, bumping on our plastic retaining tabs, securing this in place.
With our door panel in place, we can now install the three screws, one on the handle, one up by the mirror, and then the one behind the door handle. Go ahead and install the three door panel screws. If your door panel has the plastic button here to cover that screw, go ahead and pop that into place. Once that's all done, you wanna go ahead and test everything, make sure everything works. After that, you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.